Morning, this podcast contains explicit content and later on down the track will also include spoilers for uh, Spectre and I fucked it up and I sound like a dickhead. And anyways, yes, spoilers for Spectre. Uh, <laughs> I think I should start that again. No. Stop laughing. <laughs> Listener discretion is advised. <laughs> Hello and welcome to me. <laughs> I should redo it, but I can't be bothered. That was funny. I'm I love the way you, right you, just, you just lost. I just lost although, complete track of although, my although mind. Granted, it was quite funny because just before we click record, like I'll say to Bex, yeah, do the normal intro, or if we do special intros, I'll say, hey, uh, you know, we'll do one of those. I threw that to you and you missed it up the first time so we deleted it and redid it again and that is the one that we've got oh that no, is the wonderful intro no. yeah funny thing is what? it's been over a minute already oh <laughs> even Jesus moving uh, on young do you want to try it again no not really just leave it as it is just leave it as it is I screwed Fair. up I deserve to be shamed <laughs> fantastic alright yes as Bex tried to say at the beginning we uh, are going to spoil some little things about Spectre at the moment nothing too big we won't give away any major plot holes we'll just be talking about the movie and all that kind of stuff yeah you know? we just don't want to ruin it for anyone so if however, you don't want to hear it, however we will at the end of the podcast do a proper spoiler full part of it because there are some things in the movie which are just we have to talk about now. We can't just wait till the DVD comes out or Blu-ray, or whatever. So we are going to talk about it. Don't worry, we'll give you heaps. Of, he, 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 we'll give you heaps of uh, warning. Yeah, yeah, so, he fucked up. <laughs> I did. We'll give you heaps of warning and go from there and stuff. But at the moment, yeah, this is just this is it. Okay, so yes. Um, but no, we went to go see Spectre last night. Um, yes, we did on the VMAX screen, which is was it? That's on. it's not IMAX. Shut up now! Sorry. <laughs> Jesus, we can get to that point but in a VMAX, second. VMAX, VMAX is it, like the IMAX screen. Is, is IMAX that big though? I thought it was bigger. Or is IMAX it, is bigger, but the bigger VMAX normal, is bigger than a yeah. normal screen. You'd say yeah. well, it's one and a half times normally, but it's 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 it's, it's a lot. It is it's a, it is huge. It's kind of like going from a thirty-two to a would you say what like a fifty-inch screen, but more. On a Longer, yeah, it's, yeah, it's more wide. Yeah. Anyway, so it was huge. It was it a was huge monstrous. movie to see, and it was awesome to see it on that size screen as well. Mm. Straight off the bat, I'm going to say it's almost three hours long. It's the longest Bond movie ever made so far. My book, and the, I, I saw the times and I was like, oh god, this is going to be fucking long. However, it's Bond, so it's going to be awesome. Didn't feel there as was long only as it was. one part that it dragged. There was one part that it dragged, and I can't even remember it now. That's how. It was kind of thing. The rest of it, yeah, it's not a huge action movie because Bond's never that part. He's got uh, action scenes, but it's yeah. not like one big action movie. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. And there's also lots and lots of big explosions. Yes, there is a uh, Guinness World Record for the biggest explosion ever caught on film, and the way that they shot it too was amazing. They basically walk away from the thing, they stop, they talk to each other, and they just say, "Let's go home," and then it just goes. <laughs> Implode. And kind of sounds like that. A little bit more bassier and more surround sound. And, it and not just... like a fart coming out of gas mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's epic. Bl- it's a huge scene. It's epic. But it starts with one of the longest one take things I've ever seen. I think the only one I've seen longer is in like in a Quentin Tarantino movie where he went up and down the same kind of path. However, this one starts on the street. Oh no, it starts above a street, zooms down to the street, goes back down the street following Bond, back kind of the way it came, up into a building, up an elevator, up into the bedroom, goes into the bedroom, goes outside, goes down the track as well, and then carries on. It took like about seven minutes. Oh, is that the... Yeah, the that, first scene. The first scene. First scene. I didn't realise that was minutes. one take. Wow. Yeah, it was insane. So well done. So well shot. Oh, totally. And um, you know, just imagine sitting there thinking, you know, at one point if someone fell over, it's like, fuck, Bill... Gotta go right back to the beginning now. Come on, back we go. Yeah, blame Bill. And Bill's like, sorry, bro, sorry, sorry. <laughs> but uh, um, yeah, obviously they're probably little sly cuts and then all, you know, when they're moving to people. And all. But it looked cool. And it was like one big take. It was, it was awesome. Mm. And so basically what the storyline is, is that it carries on from 
all the other Daniel Craig Bond movies. Every one of those movies makes an appearance in some form in this movie. Kind of like linking back to it kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Because the amazing Christoph Waltz is in this movie. And he's not in it for that long. Chris, uh, Christoph. Christoph. Yeah, it's not Christopher. It's Christoph. Yes. No, Did I say I'm it wrong originally? No, no, no. no. Oh, no, that look is from me going, I know who that person is. He was in um, Django Unchained, which you haven't seen because they say one word so no, many times I and you don't like that. I have oh, you have? Django Unchained. Oh, I just didn't watch it with you because you'd sit there making fun of me. <laughs> so I sat there um, by myself. And he's in, he's in the, another um, uh, Inglorious Bastards. Yeah, that um, one was boring. Yeah, but he's in that. Um, and he's in did some he, other things. Did he play the... He's in the Muppet movie too. It's a Christoph Waltz doing the waltz, and he does. Yeah. Well, who did he but, play in the in the Inglorious Bastards? Uh, the main Jew killer, not Hitler. The the main bad guy that the follows the story from. Right. I can't remember the guy's name, but yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Him anyway. Um, but you know, he's an awesome actor. To think he's only been acting like you know, he's been acting most of his life, but he got his big break like six years ago, seven years ago, and he's just boom, exploded. Wow, is that all? And now he's a Bond villain and an amazing one of that. As I said, he wasn't on screen for long, but when he was on screen, it was just like oh, you were captivated. It's <laughs> like, oh. Do you know? He could read the phone book, and I'd be sitting there going, "This is the best thing ever." You, so amazing. Do you know who I think would make a amazing Bond villain? Me? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bond. We meet again. Mm. <clears throat> again. Kill him. Just, just kill him. I reckon that would... Sorry, kill him. I reckon Russell Crowe, because I reckon the entire <laughs> cinema would cheer when he got blown up. Don't you think? That would be interesting. That would be interesting. Russell Crowe is a bad guy. Yeah. I'm pretending not to be a Kiwi. I'm actually Australian. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, no, I'm American. Ah, well. Ha ha, uh, bite me, suckers. <laughs> so, Bex, I'm to watch that. <laughs> Bex, feelings towards Russell Crowe, you I like him? You're a huge fan. Him. <laughs> <laughs> something gave that away. I don't know what it was. Something. Or Samuel um, Williams. Blow um, him up. <laughs> anyway. Um, Moving on. Yeah, it was as quickly as we can before we know. Um, no, yeah, so he's awesome in it anyway. And he plays a guy called... What's his name? Franz Alderson? Or Alder. Alder something. Yeah, yeah. Fran, Franz. And he's... he's uh, it's, it's... Yeah. The it's very hard to say. Yeah, it's, it's very hard to say it without giving away some of the parts. But the key point on it is if you watch the original Daniel Craig movies, all the other four of them, three three this is his fourth the other three ones of them all the shit that happens to him is because of christoph waltz's character he's yeah. he runs a thing uh, a bad group called spectre, spectre funnily enough um that's not spoiling anything they say that in the fucking trailer so watch the trailer exactly and um yeah it's just so awesome it's really it is, cool. It it's, is actually really good. Like, I was really mm, looking forward to it I like, anyway. I like how Q didn't give him any gadgets. <laughs> I <laughs> him, know. He's like, what do you... Yeah. Watch. Yeah, yeah. He, he shows... He shows <laughs> it's a semi-spoiler, but it's kind of funny in the movie. Um, is uh, At one point he goes, right, I want to show you this thing. And he shows the car. And I'm not going to say the car because if you go watch it, it's it's still a nice thing. So he goes, here's the car for the movie. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> But that's not for you. That's for 009. <laughs> it just basically <laughs> just screws him straight. You see him go, what a nice car. It's not for you. What? <laughs> it's like, yeah, you get this watch. <laughs> and it has an explosive alarm. That's pretty much all he no, gets going. He said, he said, be careful though. The alarm is very loud. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah sorry, yeah. <laughs> and, that's, and that's it. That's all he gets. He gets a watch. The look done. on his face. Shit, yeah. that was funny. Pure, pure disgust, but pure like, it's just well done. Like, what? I only... With, uh, but being Bond being Bond things happen and cars go missing um but yeah <laughs> yeah but they zoom around rome at one point and it's incredible because i didn't realize that the Colosseum's that close to the road yeah basically it looks like one point where if he just drove straight he'd go straight into the Colosseum. oh yeah like yeah. it's not off the ground you know it's like basically oh it's a roundabout kind of thing yeah i didn't realize that well because back in the so day cool. that was the central part of the city and they didn't have roads they just had cobble, cobbled yeah. Well, kind of roads. They had cobbled roads, which they had the horses and the cart. So yeah. that wasn't quite so close. So what they've done is they've just preserved it as best they can. But mm. it's funny you say that because, yeah, it is really close to the road. And yet so many tourists go there. Mm. Every angle you see of photos, you don't see a road. It's kind no, of like they... No, no. Like, if you stand here and take your photo that way, like the Leaning Tower of Pisa, you know, it's always you'll always see the same shot of the thing, whether it be someone in front trying to hold it up or oh, not. You know what I mean? It's that same angle, you know? Somebody's... Maybe go from the other way. Just go, fuck you, I'm going this way. That'd be funny. But yeah. 
And you like throw a water bo- water balloon into air and catch it right at the right point and then it's thing just goes <laughs> I'd love to see that blown up too. That's that's the new James Bond movie, Bex is standing here. Um Bex no. like up in consequence of shit. <laughs> Oh, I think we're still high from watching it. It was, it was fun. Oh, that's um, great. And what else? Oh, what else? So yeah, so it's uh, okay. So that's probably about as far as we can say without spoiling anything, really. It was awesome. Um, it was if you haven't well seen done. it, go and see it. If you like Bond, definitely go and yeah. see it. If you're not too fussed by it, go see go it. Go see it. If you don't like it, uh, you know what? Don't waste your money. Wait till it comes out on Blu-ray. Yeah, but uh, but I reckon you should go see it at the cinema anyway. It's it's one yeah, of those. Yeah, but I mean, if you're not the kind of person to watch Bond, then yeah. you know what I That's mean. That's what like, I was gonna say. Yeah, the one part that I like too is that there's a part in it where, as I said, they're driving around Italy at night and they're you know the the classic running away from the bad guy kind of thing. And there's a scene where it's about four seconds. If you guys see the movie, there's about four or five seconds, if that, where the orchestra turns into this choir and just does a whole ha 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 and then stops and then carries on with the, you know, the whatever they're doing. Obviously much prettier, of course. Of course, of course. <laughs> Did you know that part they were shot in the Vatican? That's the Vatican part? Oh my God. It, took, it cost them $2 million or something, took a night of filming, and all they got was four seconds of film. Like, that's it. I tell you what. And you can tell because it's the... Uh, uh, that's it. For... How many... How many... <laughs> okay, yeah, don't that's do that. That's a little cross between an, uh, an orchestra and Tarzan. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's so a new much... Bond movie. That's the next villain as well. Oh, God. <laughs> the angelic Tarzan so... killing, the, killing the Tower of Pisa. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. oh, God. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Broccoli and all the James call us we got we got Bond movies straight away <laughs> straight away we got it sorted yeah. tell me tell me what, how much did you say it was to film there again uh, something, yeah, something like 2 million 2 million bucks 2 million dollars yep 4 okay. seconds of film for 4 seconds of film yep I won't spend 3,000 dollars to get married in a church and they spent 2 million dollars yep. what the hell is the Pope going to do with 2 million dollars <laughs> I don't know this Pope probably would do something good with it the other ones probably would do something bad anyway <laughs> Oh, yeah, but the new Pope doesn't do that. He's no, cool, he's, eh? he's totally like... humble. Anyway, so yes, yeah. we're talking about Bond and going to the Pope. All right, cool. Um, but no, also, the bad guy's henchman in this movie. Oh, oh my God, why wouldn't he die? Do you, know, do you know who that is? No. Cool. His name is Dave Batista. Now, that may sound familiar to you because he used to be in the WWE. Right. Yeah, so he's a big wrestler guy. Also, too, you may remember him from a certain movie, yeah. um, but um, he had a different colour skin. He was green and red, and he starred in a movie called Guardians of the Galaxy. He was Drax. No. That's Drax. That Drax, was Drax. Is Dave Batista. Wow. Yeah, that's the whole time. I, I nudged you at points because I was like, remember this part, remember this part. But yeah, oh. I forgot to tell you. Dave oh, Batista. You, you did that to me the whole movie. Yeah. There was one point that Gareth was nudging me Which, and pointing at the screen yeah. and nudging me and pointing at the screen. I'm sitting there going, for fuck's sake, I'm watching. What do you want me to pay attention to? <laughs> and I didn't answer. I just keep putting my nudging at Oh my God. It was one point there yeah. I was Which considering balling up my fist and knocking <laughs> you in the nose. I was like, yeah. what? We'll, we'll, we'll talk more about the scene in the spoiler part, oh, but yeah, Jesus. Um, but no, yeah. So Dave Batista, the WWE wrestler, who says one word of dialogue in this whole entire movie, um, which we're not going to tell you, no, <laughs> because <laughs> not, that would ruin it. It's not a spoiler either, because he's already told talk show host he only says one word and that's it. Oh, but it? Um, yeah, he has it's one word and that's and all. And he's he told says. you what they've, they've yeah. told. Oh, oh no, no, he hasn't said it because he doesn't. Obviously, he can't say it. Oh, giving it away. Um... Oh, yeah, yeah but sh- I mean, I was sitting there going... Oh. <laughs> Just give it away. No. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I, was, I was sitting there watching this guy, yeah. and honestly, God, He's... like, the, without spoiling anything, because, you know, Bond villains are generally notoriously difficult to kill. Yeah. Fuck, this guy wouldn't fucking die. Honestly, I'm sitting there going, why? Why does he keep coming back? Yeah. How many times does he have Middle to have an epic death and he 20, doesn't fucking 20, die? Nothing. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's I like... Do... What is it? What is it like? <clears throat> it's like... You know what? Never mind. We'll I can't back. think of a yeah, good, I can't think of a good like, Oh my god, that's it. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Also, side note too. Um, my mum listens to the podcast, which I only found out like a week ago or so that she listens. So, hi mum. Hi, Shelley. And she said last week as well, she goes, I can't remember the exact wording of text. What were we doing? I can't remember. She goes, there was way too many F words. 
That's yeah. why we sorry. have the warning. Sorry, so, sorry mum. Sorry, mum. <clears throat> but I just You wanna... should hear what he says at home I other just, than the I just, I just want to say, if we were doing a telly right then, I think Bex was beating me by a few today. <laughs> but anyway, it's fun. It's That's fun. okay. She's your mum. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, my, so, mother, so, my mother tells me enough. So, <laughs> so, so, so fiddlesticks. Fiddlesticks. Oh, screw that. It's got a disclosure on it. <laughs> exactly. Um, but sorry, no, yeah, so, so Dave Bautista, yeah, is the... He's kind of like odd job in... in the classic James Bond movies because yeah. that's who they're referencing to everything's kind of got like a reference back to like the whole uh, either it be um, Daniel Craig's Bonds or the other Bonds that they kind of you know yeah, back yeah, and yeah, his yeah. is the odd job little too so it's have, quite funny I have to say though mm. from the last movie my favourite absolutely favourite part of this movie mm-hmm. you know I love I love Daniel Craig Love him with the shirt off. Anyway, moving on. Um, is when they when they show us the shell from the old car from you know when they uh, blow up yep. Skyfall and he's uh, like, I told you to bring it back in one piece, not in pieces. No, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I didn't say that <laughs> quite right. No, no, no. He says, I told you to bring the car back in one uh, in one piece, not to bring back one, one piece. piece. <laughs> it's, like it was it's yeah. It's, in the beginning of it, Bond's a smart ass too. Yeah, he's right. real sarcastic and real, just like, oh just God. like fuck off. Like it's hilarious. Like there's a there's a case. Okay, so basically, the short story of it is, is the fact that MI six, which is Bond's thing, and MI five, which is I'm guessing the other intelligence thing, that is um, the actual intelligence yeah, agency um, the merging. And the, I, the MI five guy wants to get rid of the double O program and get rid of him. And I can't remember what his actual name is, but you know how M is. His name is Malfoy, so they call him M. He gets introduced. I can't remember what the guy's name is, so I'm going to call him Chris. Even though I know it's not Chris, but that's what he's going to think, right? So he oh, says, yeah, hi, yeah. my name is Chris Chris McDonald. I don't fucking know. I'm the leader of the thing, right? And he goes, Pond just goes straight away and goes, I guess I'm going to call you C. And <laughs> everyone just laughs because it's like, the way he says it's real like, oh yeah, we know what you mean. And he goes, no, you can call me Chris. Rather no, call you C. C. <laughs> Just as big fun. It's just like, yep. And then, yeah, and there's another he bit at the end when she just, they bring back the whole of, The you know, humour, the yeah. humour. Like, he, well, they, well, he is classy, yeah. he's sexy, he's a womaniser, but yeah. he is hilarious. But even like, and then at the end of it, um, there's a scene where M and uh, C are talking. And C goes, oh, M, uh, what was that? I can't remember. So, uh, that's why they call you M, because you're, uh, what does he say? It's something like, um... It's like, um, oh God, it's just gone straight out of my head right now. Mine too. Uh, ma, 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 ma. Like a, 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 an old word that starts with M, like majestic or um, no, no, it was... a moron, a moron. That's what he, he calls him, a moron or something like that. Yeah, he goes, yeah, yeah. you're a moron. That's why they call you M. And so he does, he does something. He does something. Anyway, he does something, which you're not going to do. And so M says to him straight away, and that's why you're called C. For careless, <laughs> and as he pauses, the whole cinema cracked up because they were just waiting, <laughs> like, we know waiting for him to see you see next Tuesday. And, it's, and he goes, "For careless," and everyone just goes, "Oh, come on, you had it right there." It's so funny you should say that because yeah. we were just watching. Um, what was his name? Um, the, the talk show host, and he had Joey. Uh, Joey on it, Conan O'Brien, um, Conan O'Brien. and yeah. he's saying, you know, this is a common word used in the UK, and you yeah. know, you think they'd say, uh, top of the morning, oh no, that's, yeah. that's Irish, what's the word, um, <laughs> p- oh, pip pip and all that sort of nonsense, yeah. and he goes, yep, and the one word that they use is, C, because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. obviously they can't say that on American yeah. television, but yes, uh, and, and they, they call each other the C, and yeah. they, well, and they like, say it as endearment, mm. and they say it as an insult, yeah. and they say and that's what I've said over here in Australia as well. There's the words mate and the C word are flipped the other way. I'm going to say count because I can't be bothered saying C word anymore. I'll just but, say the word. No, we have a, a disclosure. Yeah, but it's all right. It's fine. So, yeah, so, but mate over here is more of a hey, hey, mate, hey, mate. mate, settle the hell down, mate, mate, calm down, mate, you, mate, mate. It's more mate. generalized. You don't generally mate. call your friends mate. Although mate. in New Zealand, we use mate yeah. as a friendship yeah. concept. Where you'd go, oh yeah, Bill, I know him. He's a good count. It's like, you know what I mean? It's like, how does that flip on the, I don't understand. Don't worry, I'll tell that joke in person in real words. It's fine. Uh, but no, so anyway, so this is, we've almost hit 20 minutes. So we've talked about Spectre. We've talked about C words. And we've talked about Dave Batista. And so, um, and my mum. Hi, mum. So I just want to say right now, we're going to finish the podcast for this part. We're going to wait like 10 seconds. 
And then we're going to carry on with the spoiler part of it because there's a huge spoiler that I want to talk about. Because it's awesome. For those of you <clears throat> who don't want to hear the spoilers, we yeah. recommend you stop listening yep. now. Yep. Thank you so very much for listening yep. to this week's podcast. Um, have a great time. As I said, check out GarrisRandomRamblings.space. Um, also, too, we are doing a special thing, as I said last week, I think it was. We've got the hookup with Santa. So if you want to uh, have a personalized call, uh, call from Santa, like a little audio piece that you can play to your kids over and over and over again, um, we've got a website. If you go to bit.ly, so B I T dot l y forward slash g t santa calls and go there it's gonna cost five bucks because we do a bit of editing and you know i got i've got to call santa and all that kind of stuff <laughs> give some details about your kids or whoever you want it for excuse me and for everyone we do we're going to donate 50 cents to the local kids uh, uh hospital. hospital here for christmas so let's make it awesome let's make it cool um as i said b i t dot l y slash g t santa calls and um, we'll go from there. Anyway, if you don't want to listen to some spoilers to do with Spectre the movie, thank you so very much for listening today. Hit pause. Don't hit continue because you're going to get spoiled. And um, we shall movie. see you next week and go enjoy the movie. Exactly. I think it's safe that people would have stopped by now. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So, alrighty. So, here we go. As I said, if you do not want to hear any spoilers to Spectre, stop listening now. Okay, so the huge... The part that I was saying earlier in the... uh, Bex was saying earlier where I was nudging and poking and nudging and poking... Oh, God, that was so annoying. because... And this harks back to the beginning. This is the huge spoiler that I'm going to talk about and then we'll probably finish it because we'll be getting close to the time anyway. Is that Christoph Waltz's character... Has two names. Has two names. Ah. Dun, 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 dun. And he he basically grew up with Bond after Bond's parents died, and then his dad, dad taught Bond how to do all the stuff and like Bond more than it did him. And then it's revealed halfway through that Christoph Waltz's character likes cats, Meow. and is called Blowfield. <gasps> Now, Bex, you, you had, yeah, you had no idea who that was. So when I told you when we got in the car, I was like Blowfield. You went. I know that name. Why do I know that name? And how do I know that name? Mm. What I like too is the fact that so in the movie Spectre, Blowfield doesn't have the scar down his face until about near the end. They kind of do something about with it. twenty minutes to half an hour away from the yeah. end of the movie. Yeah. Then there's a, that big explosion we were talking about just before that. He slips something and explodes and it slices up his face like the original Blowfield. Because the original Blowfield, I don't think they ever mentioned how he got it. They just kind of... He had hey, he's it. got a scar in your face. Oh, Sweet, done. No that worries. makes sense. Yeah. yeah. I remember that so, character from back in the day yeah. now that you're talking about And now about that's it, yeah. why Dr. Evil's based on by look kind yes. of thing. So, yeah. So, and it was a huge shock. Yeah. Mr. Bigglesworth. Mr. Bigglesworth. Yes. Different voice, but the same look. Yes. But no, um, yeah. So, that was the huge spoiler. It that was, was awesome. it was like oh my god that was so cool they nod the little tip of the hat to the uh, past and oh oh it was great and how it ends like it ends oh it's basically it ends that if Bond doesn't if Daniel Craig doesn't come back as Bond it's done it's cool they have wrapped his story up in the four movies it's good they have him driving off into the sunset to the tunes of da na 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 if they don't bring him back though who do you think that they're going to replace him with because I don't there's think there's so anybody many, there's so many there's nobody mm. I can think of that would be worthy of the 007 yeah but there's, there there are a lot of people that they've said well what about this guy what about this guy what about this guy um, the main one would be um, oh sorry was... his name is um, Idis uh, Idis Id Elba or something or I would love to have a look at that but unfortunately my iPhone decided to shut down on me <laughs> um, yeah okay Idris, Idris Il- Elba who, Why does that sound familiar? Um, because that's him there. That guy. Oh, cool. They, they're they pushing for him Wait, to be born. Wait, hang on. Didn't they have this racist asshole come on and say there's no fucking way it's going to be a woman yep. and there's no fucking way it's going to be a black man? Yep. And that's pretty much what it is. Um, but yeah, also too, he's in the new um, uh, Finding Dory movie too as a voice. Yeah. So that'd be fun. But um, yeah, no, they've, they've had a few people that have gone... Hmm, we could do this. I really hope Daniel Craig fills out his, his one, though. I'd yeah. like to see one more with him in it. But um, i tell you one thing, though. One, one little spoiler from my side. I loved how they opened the movie with the Day of the Dead, Los Muertos. Yes, that was I awesome. would actually love to take you to Mexico for 
a celebration of Los Muertos. It is amazing the things that they do. Mm. And that guy, the, the, the one he was chasing from the, um, you know, when he yeah. shot everybody. Huh, okay. He, Sorry, yes, he, I've, what, I've, I've grabbed the list of people that they think is okay, in response. Well, I'm just like, okay. Let me finish what yep. I'm saying, and then yes, you can so, say. So basically what those people were doing when he ran through it, and he kicked, you remember he kicked over a whole bunch of stuff that was yeah, on the ground? Yeah, that's the day they, they did stuff. Uh, that is people's ancestors. So they what they do is they, bring, he, oh. they bring they bring these dolls or the, and, that are dressed as skeletons and stuff, and, yeah. and brides and grooms and yeah. stuff, to represent their ancestors. So what essentially he did was he charged through a whole bunch of ancestors and broke everything. So that was a bad guy. It was like fucking... Yeah, 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 which is a total no-no. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. complete no-no. That's insane. Um, So some of them that they've done is... uh, There's a guy called Jack O'Connell who... I've I've never seen him. I don't think I've heard that. He's. I'm trying to figure out if it says um, what movies he's been in. I know. It looks like he's been in a running movie for some reason. I don't know. Uh, Damien Lewis, who used to be on uh, Homeland... And he was in Band of Brothers? No. Really? That guy? Okay, we're going to bring him back later. Um, Henry Cavill, What's who's playing uh, Superman at the moment. I don't think they'll get him. Nope. Uh, Sam Worthington. Who yeah, likes his... maybe, but he's Australian, isn't he? Yeah, he's Australian. Uh, Tom Hardy could be the next Bond. Maybe. That'd be funny. Uh, Richard Armit- um Armitage. Armitage. It needs to be European. He needs to be yeah. British or with, Irish or with Scottish. The guy, the guy. Aaron Taylor Johnson. No idea who that is. He was in Godzilla and Kick Ass and John Lennon. Oh, that yeah. guy. He's not British either. Yeah, he is. Is he? Yeah, he is. He's British. I don't think um, he John, no, <laughs> I no. think that one's a joke one. John Hamm, who's American. and he's, yeah. yeah, I don't think so. But the one that I went, oh, really? And skipped over. Yeah. <laughs> There's a rumor going around that Rick Grimes could be the next Bond. Oh, for Andrew God. Lincoln. No. <laughs> it'd be awesome, but it'd be, they'd oh, never be able to do it. Well, hang on. I reckon no. if, if he, when he, sh- he would look, he would do the part well, but he's kind of ready on the TV show. So, yeah. yeah there's no definitive yeah. point at which point that they Unless think he's he gets killed leave. off. Yeah, if he gets killed off, then fuck, go for gold. But yeah. Oh, Andrew Lincoln. Yeah, but, okay, mate. Maybe, yeah. maybe. Maybe. No. Um, the, the guy who plays kick ass and stuff. Yeah, I mean oh. he's not as classy as the other guys. I mean, look, there is there is a classic look the Bond has stuck with, and <laughs> this that particular guy, yeah, he's hot. Don't get me wrong, he's a mm-hmm. good looking bloke who married a much older woman, but yep. whatever, we won't go there. But no, he just he has that youthful look. He looks too young for the role. He's yeah. no. It depends on how they do it because once again, when uh, Daniel Craig came in, same thing. He doesn't look like Bond. He's too young to be Bond. He's blonde. Oh, he's got blue eyes. And yet now, I, I couldn't think like Pierce Brosnan to me was Bond when I grew up because he was Bond while we were growing up. Sean yeah. Connery was an old guy. Sean Connery Everyone was, was like, my oh, Bond. Whatever, you know. We we grew- Daniel Craig now would be if someone said, "What's a good Bond movie?" I'd go so right. Daniel Craig. Watch the Daniel Craig Daniel ones. Craig ones. Yeah, that's Bond yeah. there. Like, anyway, so we'd better go anyway because we're running out of time. Uh, yes, kind of and sorry for all the spoilers, spoilers but, but um, we, yeah, yeah. But it's it is insane. It's all good. And if you really want to know the one line that Dave uh, Batista says in the movie, shit, shit. <laughs> that's it. That and it's it. fucking hilarious. Yeah, so you must watch it. So go watch it anyway. Um, but yes, no, it's awesome movie. Uh, out of ten, I would give it probably an eight and a half, nine. Very solid. A little bit too long. However, it doesn't drag in points. There's only, as I said, there's only one point. But I can't remember right the second, so obviously it wasn't that important. It, in rating of, of, of the four movies, I would have to rate it second or third. I like the movie. I love the movie, yep. but Casino Royale and then... Um, Skyfall. Skyfall, yeah. yeah. Me, yeah, me would be... Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's Skyfall and Spectre. One of the t- I'm thinking a little bit more Spectre, just because of all the little nods of the hats and stuff. Yeah. And then it would go Skyfall... Casino Royale and then Quantum of Solace down the bottom like everyone else says it is. Um, but yeah, so anyway, so thank you so very much for listening to this. Gareth's Random Ramblings dot space. Check it out. Um, we're wrapping it up here because we're getting close to half an hour. So thanks so very much once again for listening. And next week we will try and condense it down, have some fun, and talk about some fun things as well, like we have today. All right, until next time, thank you so very much for listening, and um, we will catch you later. Yeah, have a good weekend.